Hey guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, yeah, we got another beer review, obviously. Um, this is going to be a beer from Untitled Art, and it's a collaboration um, that they've done with Tripping Animals, um, who we just reviewed a week or so ago, a week or two ago. And um, this is going to be their Passion Fruit Orange Guava Milkshake IPA. Well, I don't know if it's an IPA, I guess, but it's, um, oh, no, it's not. My bad. It's a uh, Berliner Weiss. Sorry. So, uh, it's a sour. Uh, it says, brewed with passion fruit concentrate, orange juice, guava puree, and milk sugar. Um, so, yeah, should be a nice sour. Uh, we did do the blackberry, I believe, and then we did the strawberry banana. Um, and I don't remember exactly if they were all Berliner Weiss or... If one of them may have been an IPA, I can't remember. We're just gonna assume they were all Berliner Weiss. I think that's what they were. What they were, uh, but anyway, yeah. Um, Untitled Art is out of Wanaki, Wisconsin. Uh, fitting. I've got my Packer shirt on today. Um, but let's go ahead and crack this open. See what we got. It's getting um, 4.22 on Untapped, uh, which is uh, pretty good. Mike over here. Um, so yeah, I mean, the other um, milkshake ones I had from Untitled Art were fantastic. I mean, really, really good. So I'm expecting this one to be no different. This color is insane. It literally looks like uh, juice just pouring out of this can. We're going to leave a little bit there. Look at that. That is insane. The head is like, <laughs> it's like yellow. Um, so weird. Look at that color though. I mean, it is like a dark, murky, amber slash gold. Like, it's weird. It just looks like straight up juice, like right out of a carton. The head is dissipating really quickly. Uh, I mean, it's almost gone already. I'm excited about this one, guys. I like these um, uh, milkshake Berliner Weiss stuff that they're doing. Let's go ahead and uh, show our news in this. I have a feeling it's going to be ridiculous. So here we go. Yeah, it's insane. Um, it is fruit juice. Fruit juice and like a creamy... Um, it's almost like a creamy vanilla thing going on in there. And I don't know if it even said vanilla. I don't think it does. It's just the fruit... Uh, concentrate the juice and the puree and milk sugar is what it says so it does have like this nice creamy milkshakiness to it though I, like i'm getting like vanilla but i'm a, i'm assuming it's uh from that sweetness from the lactose yeah you get that classic like i don't want to say classic but that um passion fruit orange guava um Thing where it all they all play those three fruits play so well together, um, and I the reason I say that is because I've had another beer at least one, uh, maybe a few more that have uh, like um, included all three of those fruits together, and it works really well. You also get just a little bit of like a citrus thing um, hanging out in the background, but this one is passion fruit, the orange and the guava just straight up in your face. Um, along with that little bit of a sweetness, sweet smell though. Let's go ahead and taste it. I can't wait. Cheers, guys. Again, <laughs> look at this. The head's gone. It's just weird, weird, weird. All right, let's try it. Cheers. It's just crazy, man. It's just, it's, it's juice. It's straight up juice. Like it's straight up juice with a tad, a bit of tartness, uh, and a little bit of like a sour character. It's not mouth puckering sour. Um, but it is there. Uh, you can tell for sure that it's a sour, but it's that juice, those fruits are just shining completely through. I um, mean, you know, some juices give off a little bit of like an acidic thing or um, some can come off a little bit tart, uh, at least in my opinion. Uh, and this is translating all those things over perfectly. 
into this. So medium to medium plus mouthfeel, leaning towards full. Um, no bitterness to speak of. It's just straight up passion fruit, orange, guava. And then you do get a nice little bit of like um, sweetness in there to kind of almost give it that milkshake vibe. And I'm still perceiving it as like a slight vanilla um, tone. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's coming across as like vanilla and then those fruits. Um, you know, it, it does not, oh, I forgot to mention earlier, it's 7%. And uh, it's like, I don't even feel like I'm drinking beer, to be quite honest with you. Um, it's just like a juice like a milkshakey juice with like a slight um, malt character, I guess, with it. I'm not getting any hop flavor. Everything is just covered up by the fruit. So, yeah, guys, I know I keep saying the same things over and over. It's fruity. It's juicy. It's, um, it's just everything that I thought it was going to be and more. Um, because I've had, like I said, two of these, and they all three come across similar, um, but obviously with their different um, fruit profiles, you can tell a difference in that. But um, they all have that same base uh, malt character and the way that they kind of tone. I feel like they toned the carbonation down um, to even give it more of like a milkshake vibe. Uh, and if that's, I mean, I think that happened with all the ones that I've tried, so... Yeah, this is fantastic, guys. I definitely recommend you guys try it if you uh, have the opportunity to. Um, fortunately, uh, Untitled Art is very uh, widely accessible here uh, in, in Tennessee. Uh, I'm assuming it's in more places than just here. Um, so if you have the opportunity, definitely give this a try. And if you have already had it, uh, give me a comment or two and let me know what you guys think about it because I just I'm blown away by these and I would love to know what other people think um, you might hate it I, I don't know I, I really like them so um, yeah guys I'll look forward to your comments um, like this video leave a comment subscribe and we'll see you in the next one cheers